Here, I lit our lantern. Telly, watch your step. I can hear beasts crawling on the ceiling. Oh, we should proceed with care. Got it. So, wow. So we we go first person now, I guess, to really break in the scary darkness of the cave. That is cool. I can see barely in the darkness. I can see some stalemites on the ceiling. Oh, this is really cool. I like this a lot. I need to just get used to controls. Feels almost like I'm playing a horror game now. Oh, if I walk that way, I can say hello to my beautiful, I guess, Telly. That's Telly, not me. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, look at that. The way it like lights up. Okay, I probably have to fight you, right? A live rock. Okay, so equip. We've got so catch it equipped, we're all good. Beat up that rock. You go tell her, you show her. Beat up that rock, keep on going. I really like how the like cave part of the dungeon has been made quite unique. Ah. More bee jelly. Oh! <laughs> I guess that's what they mean by the monsters on the ceiling. Okay, I don't think we're winning this fight. We need to run. Okay, we got a bonfire. That's good. With a nice water supply. Quick, Telly. Drink up. Goop, goop. Goop, goop. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun. Okay, we've got some stuff going on here. Hello, I challenge you to a battle, fair beast. Okay, we can beam this, we can beam this. Water hatchet is still equipped, that should be good against Sandshrew. Oh, keep on beating it, keep on beating it. Maybe I should be having Telly... No, I mean, we're good. But maybe I should have been having Telly attack the hyena. So I haven't seen Telly's... Skills really are. Boost attack. Use a block two times in a row. So do I target a yeah, I target an ally with that one, but I haven't seen body weight cut. Ooh! That's a strong good hit. So we have shout, jewel attack, and protect. So if I just do jewel attack. Okay, there we go. Take care of that hyena. Um rotate. Okay, rotate. Oh! I really love how this water looks. This is a new bonfire. Oh, I should have seen that black square. I did see it. Uh, but I, I didn't like pink in time. Well, I guess I should use my skills now so that I can... Oh, I don't have enough to do a decent act. Okay, just get him. Then Telly... Go for a body rate cut. Finish off him. No, okay, that's a bad idea. Body rate cut, use him behind you now, not on the Sanctuary. Okay, Sanctuary has fallen. I still have enough for another body rate cut. Oh, perfect. And just finish off behind you now. Very nice, very nice. That looks like a turd almost. I know it's a rock. But maybe, just maybe it's a Pokemon Dead. Okay, I see some black squares to be scared of. Oh, 50 gold. I haven't found a use for gold yet, but I imagine we will find. So I see two monsters in front of me there. There's a black square and him. Black square and him. Oh, this looks like boy. Oh. I like that I can, well not anymore, but before I could kind of see vaguely where the bonfires are because they have some illumination around them. So it kind of tells me what way to go vaguely. I know this area isn't too complex, luckily for me. But I do need to beat this guy. Okay. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna take a beaten armor. I missed. 
Oh boy. Please keep on evading. Okay. I don't think we got poisoned, right? Oh, I attacked the wrong thing. Okay, I'll just start, I'll just attack the scorpion then. I'm gonna have to use healing items, I think. I have six of these. So heal Luther. I should have healed Teddy. What am I doing? Teddy's gonna die. I should have just used like an ability or something like bodyweight card. I'll dual attack the scorpion. Hopefully finishing off. Yeah. Oh, we're still getting our ass whooped. I don't know if this is a good idea to keep on trying to heal. Because it does like 300 damage a turn, or not 300, like 1. Well, that was only 100 damage. So that's skills. I could just shout to. Because that would raise my defense. I have, but like I, like I was saying, um, is there any indication for what's like super effective? Because I I know obviously water spear is super effective against these guys, but I don't know what's dedicated for like for scorpion. Because I know so I know bow is good against flying type. Water is good against beast, earth beast. But then, like, if bow is super effective against stuff, then does that mean that... Like, I know spear... Spear hits twice sometimes, but is that it? Is, like, is hatchet super effective against something without having a type? Because then you have, like, a wind spear, so that would hit twice and hit with air element. So can you get like an electric bow for like four times? And so then in that case, what's hatchet good against? And because the types have been simplified, it seems. Like it doesn't really seem like there's dual types from what I understand. I don't really know what to use on like a Scorpio, for example. I mean, I don't have fire anyway. Yeah, but is there, there's no kind of like sound effect for if you get like a super effective hit or something? Because since I didn't really, or like a not super effective hit or something. So I was just using my like base strongest weapon against the scorpion there. Because I didn't really know, like I had a flying spear. But I don't know if the scorpion would be weak to bug, weak to flying, or something else. Because it's poison dark, really. It's not actually a bug type. Right, okay, yeah. I guess it would be nice to have, like, a, a manual in the game, if that makes sense. Just to show what's super effective against what that you can, like, refer to in your pause menu. Because when you do use like more unique typing, like in this game, it does get a bit confusing to learn. Like I know there was a game for the last jam called Pokemon of the Elements, and essentially what it did was make it so, I think at any time you had a PC you could consult the type chart, because it changed its type chart to be like a simplified type chart. And while it simplified, it still requires more learning. I still have my so catch it back there. Okay, so how much does Tully do against a hyena? Right. But normally, at least in old school, 
it will tell you, right? Like, it will say it's super effective, or it's not very super effective. For most you can do this is look at the numbers and take a guess and be like, is 90 damage good? Or if I change to SP, am I going to do less than 90 damage? But yeah, it, it just makes it a bit of a trial and error. I think the sound effects would be a good, like, subtle, un un unintrusive way to do it. Like, it doesn't have to be in your face, it doesn't have to be like, wow! You know, like, people complain about hop and stuff in the newer games going, wow, you used a super effective move, you really know your stuff. But it can just be something as simple as a sound effect. Okay, that sound tree has finally fallen. Let's go ahead for a body weight cut, and I think we're going to have to walk back to the lovely bonfire. Body weight cut didn't do that much more. <laughs> okay, let's walk back. Oh yeah, but enemy's back. I should probably just walk around it at this point. Because this fight always does seem to take a bit of HP out of me. <laughs> or out of Telly, at least. Oh, I should be using Telly to attack the Hyena. Not just double down on the sand tree. Because Telly seems quite good against the Hyena, I guess. So what's your weapon, Telly? Velocity Parlor. You must be good against the dude, right? Propels from dust, cleaving damage from axis spears and damage from spears comes from swords and non-snapful armor. You work on some logic, but it's going all your time for the types. Right, yeah. So yeah, that's what I mean, like So I got the gist that you know, there were elements that are super effective against elements, but there were also weapons super effective against certain body types, I guess, like a bird. But I didn't really know what weapon is super effective against what body type. I guess, intuitively, it does make sense that piercing would work on a, um, on a rock-hard shrew. I guess that does kind of make sense. So like, okay, so let's see, normally I do like no damage to this Poo Channel. If I change to my Spear... It suddenly does, I think that's more than I was doing before that. Again, I don't really know. Well, there's a double hit at least. And on virtue of a double hit alone, it would have been more damage. Okay, let's see if I can walk around this guy. There we go. And I believe we went over here. Yep, there's the ramp. Yep. Oh, there's an item, but I can't cross the water. Oh, wow, that's a jump scare. <laughs> Let's go the other way. I'm looking for my ramps. Oh, I just saw a guy go over a ramp over here. Here we go, and I think this is where I reset last time. Oh, it's just a Geodude here. Okay, so equip to soak hatchet. Again, maybe Spear would just be better if it is piercing. And maybe he's resistant to melee. Not too sure. Hmm. Let's just beat up the rock. That looks like a scary room. There are a lot of Pokemon in the ceiling in that room. Is that the exit? I see some light over there. That's a very beautiful looking exit. I think maybe I need to take the path of the scary room. <laughs> I don't think there's a way around it. Oh no! Okay, so... I think just have Luta focus on the Sandshrew. 
That was good. Have Telly focus on the Scorpion. Poison? No, we did to get poisoned. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna shout to boost my defense and attack. Let me tell these guys. I'll just no jewel. Like to tell he's not doing too much damage against any of these. So I think I'll active defense just tell he just so he survives a bit and he can take hits instead of looter. The defense up was not doing as much as I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping for like half damage, but I guess it would be a bit too overpowered. Okay, one sand true down, but I I think we're still screwed here. Loot is down. I mean yeah, I think there's no point in trying to win this fight, I think it's over for poor Telly. Luckily, the bonfire was incredibly nearby. Okay, heal. Oh, the dude's gone? I can dodge these shadows, so... That looks like the exit. So I could take this fight and probably just get close to the exit. Zubats, okay, so let's go ahead and equip the bow. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going for all of ACB. Oh my god, he dodged. You annoying Zubat. Keep on going. Oh, <laughs> stop it, Zubat. <laughs> Why are you evading my attacks? And you're just taking damage from Telly, but Telly doesn't even do much damage. There we go. That's what I need. Okay, Zubat A down. Two more to go. We can do it, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, now we're landing our hits. Okay, let's go for a skill, let's go for a dual attack. That should finish off that Zubat. I mean, it doesn't really matter from Telly, but we'll go for another dual attack. I mean... Well, let's see what Pommel Strike is. What does lose balance really mean? I missed. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> oh. I missed again! Let's see if we can do Pommel Strike again. Okay, so it's got that stats over his head. Does that mean that he's not attacking for one turn? Well, we killed him anyway. We got two wing residue from that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's such a beautiful exit. I've never been so glad to see the light of day. So we have indeed brought the Salamander Menace. As we agreed, Holter. Chief Holter. Chief Holter, it is then. Looks like even a mighty warrior chief has a price. Everyone has. I'm speaking your tongue, Easterner. Indeed, indeed. I'm not one to pry, but the thought has been tormenting me. Ten nations you've brought before me, all to fight for the Union. The Rapid Dash nation should be easy to deal with, thanks to your help. But to ask for naught but one beast in return, a Salamander Menace? Is that one of your weird tribal customs? I'm guessing this Salamander Menace is the, the Pokemon that um armed people, like, randomly, that the Chief was talking about. And Salamander Menace, I'm guessing Salamans. I'm guessing, right? Hmm, easy there, we have a mutual agreement. I expect you to treat me like your equal, Colonel. Very well, I spoke out of my boundaries. Do you really want me to crush its stream, Borgo? Yes. Unchain the beast. <gasps> Alright, then I bid you farewell. Oh, that does look a little bit like Salamans Looter. Say goodbye to the mortal realm. I'll not like to an feet figure like you take the helm, ever. There's far bigger things at stake than your old man and his cowardly disposition could ever comprehend. 
Uh, is it Sound Man's boss battle time? This is it, Telly. Now it's me versus Sand Firefly. I get the feeling it's not Sand Firefly. <laughs> I get the feeling from what we just saw we're not fighting with Sand Firefly. I don't know what to say other than good luck, brother. Please be careful. Okay, let's save, just in case. I don't know where we'll come back if we faint. If we go backwards... No, I must not run away. Okay, yeah. This is such a cool... I mean, like, everything visually in this game is so beautiful. That's no Sand Firefly. Sand Firefly? I've come to ask you to test me. I'm ready to fight. Huh? Something's off. Are you not responding, Sand Firefly? Sand Firefly was described to me as an earth beast with bug-like wings. Oh no, Volcarona is gone. Old man stories again. So my spear, should I vanish it to... Uh... Here we go. Salamander Menace. Alright, so I... I think, I think bow, right? I don't have any fancy type of bow, but I think bow. So let's shout. I'm, I didn't heal myself, so I will need to do that. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to lose. <laughs> 500 damage. <laughs> ah, it hurts so much. Ah, here it comes. Run, Luta, run! Ah, oh, this is it. I'm done for. You aren't, you aren't a sand firefly, right? I'm sorry everyone, I did my best. <gasps> Luta, watch out! <gasps> no, not Teddy's hat! Oh my gosh, she went flying. He's gone. That is a very cool way to do that cutscene, especially for the drop of the hat. That was very well done. He's gone. Left only but the hat that was gifted by a bandit. Put it on, Luta. Put it on. Put on the hat. Come on. Put it on, please. <laughs> PS Series presents. Main developed by Nan Does it have a credit, then? That's very cool. That's very cool. Very cool indeed. <sighs> That's sad. I want more. Five years later, maybe we get more. <laughs>